Hello, my fellow Pisces. I hope you're doing amazing today. Thank you for being here. Let's get right into your reading, Pisces. If you are here, which obviously you are, you're meant to be. So let's find out why. Pisces, who am I connecting with today? That's what I want to know. Let's look into it. Pisces, who am I connecting with? First card. We have high anxiety. Okay, well, that's what we want to see right off the bat, right? Okay, so high anxiety. <laughs> I have a crush on you. Okay, so maybe there's somebody around you who has high anxiety because they have a crush on you. And then we also have hidden here at the bottom. So this is obviously news to you. This is probably someone who's about to say something, you know, with the high anxiety. Maybe this is something that they, they've been kind of ruminating on, dwelling on. They're like, okay, so how am I going to make my move toward Pisces? Okay, so let's get one more of these. We have reach, yeah. So how am I going to make my move? You know, I need Pisces. I want Pisces. All I can think about is Pisces. So what am I supposed to do? And then randomly on the bottom, we do have the Knight of Cups. You know, there are no coincidences here at Banana Chips Tarot, so that means something. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so clearly there is somebody who is up in their head about you, who wants you, who wants to come toward you. But they might be overthinking this a little bit. Okay, whoa, okay. Well, Queen of Pentacles wants to come out, Earth Sign Energy. That could be how they're seeing you, just somebody who just has a very nice presence. That's the first thing that's coming to mind, how this person views you. Just very nice energy. They like being around you. And I'm being, my eyes are like at this bunny rabbit here. And that's supposed to be a sign of fertility. <laughs> and also like, you know, boinking like rabbits. So they might have a lot of sexual thoughts about you. Okay, so that, you know, my eyes just keep looking right at that bunny rabbit, so. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, what else? We have the moon. It's funny, I was just thinking the moon, and then it came up. Um, Pisces, Cancer. So again, this is hidden. This is the, the obstacle here, and it's, you know, you not knowing about it, basically. But I do feel like they're going to say something What's the advice, the emperor? Why is the emperor always coming up in my readings lately? Literally, every reading I do, emperor. <laughs> On my channel, anyway. My readings for you guys. It's just, it's, I don't know, crazy. But this is the advice, the emperor. I, I just keep feeling like you, this is representing more so you. Like, you need to be discerning about this person. I don't know why. I will clarify but there is a need to, like, not lay your heart out on the line immediately with this person. Say, let's, what is the potential outcome here? We have the Page of Cups. So they are eventually going to say something. We have the Ten of Wands here at the bottom. What's underneath that? Oh, we have the Star, Aquarius Energy. So yeah, this is like them, you know, their anxiety, you know, dragging their feet, knowing that they need to say something. And then they just let it all out. But then underneath that, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So there is that kind of like, you know, after letting it all out, there is this need to take things slow here. I don't know why that is. I am going to clarify again. Remember what I said about the Emperor? There is some advice here for you to be discerning about this. You know, don't be all in right away. I don't know why that is, but it is. Okay. <laughs> so let's look at this Queen of Pentacles. We have the Emperor, holy shit. Why? <laughs> so, okay, Aries energy again. We have Justice here at the bottom, Libra energy. So there could be some kind of karmic thing going on here. I don't know, there's something kind of murky about this. I don't know how to describe this energy. There's something murky. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using the word murky. I can't even remember the last time I said the word murky. But there's just something, you know, maybe that's why this moon card is here. It's like they, yeah, they're hiding these feelings. They, they're they hiding this crush that they have for you. But it's like there's more to it. And I can't, you know, I, I am going to clarify. And I think that's why 
you know, this emperor is showing up twice here. You need to be discerning about this situation. And again, it could be some kind of karmic thing. Like, do you really want to like loop back in with this person? I don't know. So let's see. We have the nine of wands. So yeah, being dis be discerning when it comes to this person. And I think the reason why this might be like coming up again, it's so prominent in the reading. You might find this person pretty tempting. I mean, you, you might have a crush on them too. But there is this feeling of looks can be deceiving. So just watch out, protect yourself. You know, nine of wands, be discerning. Okay, let's look at this moon. What is this murkiness? We have the eight of wands. We have judgment. I want to get one more on that. Something about communication here. The star again, Aquarius energy. There's gonna, I think the murkiness surrounds their communication and what they're willing to let you know about because it feels like they're hiding something and it, I don't know what it is. It's like, yeah, they're gonna tell you how they feel. They're gonna like open up about, you know, that they want something with you, you know, whatever the case might be. But they're gonna give the impression that they're, you know, fully open and laying it all out, but it's not all out. I'm gonna have to dig into that a little deeper because again, it's very murky. I don't, and I think that's why it's there's such an, such an emphasis on you being discerning because it's gonna be kind of hard to point out what this is because there's something that they're not letting you know about. So let's look at this emperor. We have the seven of cups, discernment. <laughs> The Nine of Swords. I want to get another one on that. Three of Cups. So there could be another person. You know, I was kind of thinking that. That could also be why this Justice card is here. That maybe they're going through some kind of like divorce or breakup. And then underneath that we have the Four of Pentacles. So they're withholding possibly some kind of relationship thing going on. I do see that it's probably ending. But at the same time, it's like they still have their like their toes dipped in those waters over there too, if that makes sense. <laughs> that was kind of a weird expression, but it's like they're still, like their energy's still in that. And it's almost like they don't want to pull their energy out of that until they know that you're going to take them, right? And, you know, they're not letting you know about that. And I think that's kind of shitty. I think, that, you know, personally, I mean, maybe you're okay with it, whatever. I don't, that's fine. But I think that's kind of shitty because it's like starting things out kind of deceptive right not laying it all out on the line you know being honest you know I'm not gonna lie they do really like you they do want something with you there is a connection here and I want to say there I'm still thinking that there's something karmic here um, this could be a karmic thing that they're stuck in I mean this could be a karmic thing with you as well but I do feel like there is some kind of like soul contract thing going on here with the two of you but the thing is is that they can't come into this attached to somebody else still. And that could be like some of the karma that they need to let go of. I don't know, something that they need to close out. Um, but yeah, it's like they're not letting you know about this third party. And there's a, a need to be discerning about this. And you know, they might tell you, hey, I'm still talking to so-and-so. But they're not giving you the full details here. That they're still kind of in there, okay? And they're just trying to like check you out, see how things go with you before they go all in with you. Okay, does that make sense to anybody? Um, so yeah, that's kind of shitty, like I said. It's like, are you, you're either with me or you're not, okay? Or you want me or you don't. Like I don't, <laughs> like I don't want any half-assed uh, attempts here or whatever, you know? Uh, so let's look at this page of cups, potential outcome. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. And we have the King of Wands, Fire Sign, Energy. I want to see what's under this justice. Oh yeah, I already said Four of Pentacles. And we have the Hangman, Pisces, Energy. So, um, again, Temperance. You know, on the traditional Temperance card, it's an angel with his toe in the water. <laughs> one foot in the water, one foot not. 
that's kind of how I'm viewing this person. It's like he's he she i said he because i was looking at the king of wands which you know i'm contradict i'm a hypocrite you know i don't like to put gender on these guys <laughs> and i just called him a he but anyway don't mind me uh but uh it's like this person you know male or female it's like they are they're at two places at once and instead of like going all in and like you know taking that leap toward you they they're kind of leading the other person on they're kind of stringing the other person along um and that's again i don't feel like that's too cool <laughs> i'm just saying um and again it's up to you like i do feel like their um their feelings are legit like i do feel like they actually like you i, I feel like they want to be with you it's just that they're being a bit of a coward you know what i'm gonna just come out and say it. i've been wanting to say it. i've been dancing around that word <laughs> but they've been they're kind of being a bit of a coward here they're not like fully letting go of this like other person so that they can take this chance with you okay and you know not only is it a shitty thing to like be deceptive with you and kind of start things off on this like uh, lying by omission uh, but they're also being kind of shitty to this person and leading them on a bit you know even if it is like a toxic relationship or whatever you know just cut it off okay cut it off before you approach my beautiful Pisces okay so so for anybody who needs that kind of confirmation like you feel like something's going on it's like okay so you know, why do I feel like something's off here? Listen to that discern discernment, okay? This this is big here. Listen to your intuition. Because it's like, you know, if it were me, you know, again, if it were me, my advice, I wouldn't want anything to do with somebody who still has something else going on, okay? If they don't have the, the balls or the, the female balls, <laughs> the lady balls <laughs> to like, you know, come at me right they don't deserve me right and they don't deserve you you know doing that shit to you okay so hold on my dog wants out okay sorry about that so anyway lady balls where was i <laughs> and that could also be why this high anxiety is here because you know they don't know where things are going to go with you they don't want to cut off the other thing yet because you know they don't know what's going to happen with you so Okay, so what else does Pisces need to know about this? Are they going to cut things off? Let's first look at that. Are they going to like officially cut things off with the past person? Are they going to stop being a coward? We have the Six of Pentacles. We have... <laughs> what did I just say about the Temperance card? <laughs> see, how, see how there's one foot in the water, one foot out? And then that Six of Pentacles, the first thing that came to mind is that they're still going to be kind of breadcrumbing this other person, leading them on. So I don't see them cutting the, this other person out. You know, I, they're obviously going to keep this on the down low. They don't want you to know about it. Four of Swords here. Um, but you're going to know. Like, you're going to know something's up, okay? Whether you find out somehow, maybe the, the person that they're with contacts you or something like that. But you're going to know. Um... You're gonna feel like something's off and they're not i just i honestly i don't see them cutting this person out until things go farther along with you i feel like they do feel more of a connection with you like 100 percent, because i feel like whatever they were dealing with with this other person it is more of a karmic like toxic kind of situation i feel like um but it's like bitch why do you have to bring that toxicity into my life by like you know still being attached to that shit? okay you know what i'm saying so I just I don't see them cutting it off okay again they do feel these feelings for you they do want something with you but again they're not going to you know stop what's going on over there until they feel like you know things are actually going to happen with you okay so but let's say for you know maybe some of them will cut it off okay so what what's the outcome of that situation with Pisces you know will it be good bad long term short term we have the Queen of Cups, water sign energy. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay. 
Oh boy. All right. So, you know, sometimes I have to give you guys bad news. You know, that it's just how it is. I'm not going to feed you butterflies and bullshit. But, um, you know, it looks like at first, you know, if this were to go anywhere with this person, it looks like at first it would be nice. You know, it feels good. Um, there's, you know, it feels like love, you know. But the thing is, is that it looks like this kind of a, a cycle for this person or a habit for this person to rush into commitment like way too fast and almost kind of love bomb. So that's something for you guys to look out for. And, you know, of course, you know, whenever it, a lot of the times in those situations, it kind of ends before it fully begins. Okay, it's like the, the flame lights up, the match lights up, but the, you know how long a match lasts, like seconds, right? So... I just feel like they come in, love bomb, they really want you, they're, they're really into you. There is, you know, there is some kind of connection here. I'm not going to lie, and I, again, I feel like it could be more of a karmic thing with this person. So the thing I worry about is like you, um, if you're resonating with this, if you were to give this person a chance and you like you fall in love with them or whatever, I feel like it's going to end up hurting you because it like happens way too quickly. They have a habit of doing things like this and then like rushing out almost as quickly as they rush it okay um for some of you they may have been married multiple times <laughs> that's something that's coming to mind um they have for some of you they might have uh children with multiple people more than one people more than one people more yeah more yeah that's right <laughs> more, than one, more than one persons i i'm dumb I, I, <laughs> but um uh but yeah, I just feel like this person, it's almost like they, they're addicted to falling in love, okay? So that's something to watch out for if you're resonating with this. You know, be discerning, okay? And I feel like, you know, this could be some kind of karmic thing with this person, but you end the karmic cycle by being discerning and cutting this shit out, knowing, you know, you know, trusting your, your intuition that, hey, you know, things are probably not going to go well with this person, okay? So... Let's see, is there anything else Pisces needs to know? We have the Five of Cups. Yeah, I feel like that's just kind of confirming what I was saying, that it's going to end up hurting you in the long run. Um, you know, you might feel this attraction. Again, they might be kind of in this love bombing stage. This could be future influence for somebody too. This could be a warning to look out for this person popping up. Um, but you could be in that love bomby stage where like it feels so nice. You know, somebody's just constantly loving on you, giving, this, giving you this affection. But I feel like it's just going to end up putting you here, the Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, because they come in so hot and then they leave. They pull that energy away. This person probably has a history of breadcrumbing. Okay, so that is your reading today, Pisces. I'm sorry this wasn't like a lovey-dovey, cozy reading, but you know, somebody's got to hear it. This is apparently who I'm connecting with today. So if this helped you, this resonated, or if you just enjoyed the reading, leave some banana emojis in the comments, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.